In this week's video tech tip, we're going to showcase the derived sketch, which inserts a parametric copy of a sketch. It's like copy and paste, but it has the added benefit of being parametrically linked, which means any changes that are made to the first sketch will then also be reflected in the copied sketch. So let's take a look. It's actually quite simple. The only key here is you need to first choose the face and the sketch, those two items before you launch the command. So you pre-select the sketch and the face holding the control key. Go to insert, derive sketch, and the sketch has been placed on that face. I'll add a couple of relationships here to locate it. I'll center it on the face, add some parallel relationships, it's fully defined now, and I'll add a feature to it to complete that flange. And like I said, it's parametrically linked. So any changes to the original sketch, like removing these holes, will then be pushed down to that derived sketch, that new feature that I added. And see, the holes have been removed. So that's the derived sketch. Just keep in mind, you need to first select both the face and the sketch, and then choose derived sketch from the insert menu. It's a great way to make a copy of a sketch that's parametrically linked to that original sketch.